Hi there, I'm Howie Long, and this is Rick Spina from Chevrolet. Rick knows a whole bunch about trucks, and in particular, Chevy trucks, which is a good thing, because today we're going to put the Chevy Silverado HD up against the competition head-to-head. -head. What do you got, Rick? Howie, what we're going to do here, 3,000 pounds of payload in his truck. We're going to take it up a fairly extreme test here. It's a simulated twist stitch. Watch the way the truck handles it. Remember, we're looking at strength. And we're looking at the level of the bed. Exactly. So far, so good. Yep. Now, we really start to twist it good here. Yeah, I've been there. <laughs> now, give the gate a try. OK. Wow. Not bad, huh? Piece of cake. Now, we're going to try and do the same thing with the Super Duty and see how we uh, make out there. All right, okay? let's do it. All right, moment of truth. Moment. You got it. Wow, look at the twist yeah. on that bed. Oh. I hope this isn't a rental. Yeah, or coming out of my check. <laughs> Give the gate a shot. We're going to have a hard time returning it. I can't budge it. Yeah, it's, uh, it's in stress here. You said you've been in this position. I've before, been in right? this position, and it's not good. No, it's got to hurt. Yeah. We got a couple more tests to do now. OK. On a three quarter ton trucks. We're on the same kind of test. Great. All right. Let's do it. We took a look at the dualies on the twist stitch. Now we're going to look at the Silverado 2500 HD and the Ford F250. OK. So what do we got going on, Guy? Well, we're set up to measure the torsional rigidity of these two frames. Uh, the first step in this test is we've attached a couple of pointers, one to the uh, cab of the truck and the other to the bed. Right. And uh, we're going to run the vehicles up our frame twister, and we're going to see what misalignment occurs, if any, and we'll be able to measure that based on these two pointers. Seems simple to me. I like it. Let's it's do it. Simple test. All right. All right. Take her up. Boy, not a lot of movement. No. Nope. Little spread. She comes back. A little bit the other way. Get the tire off the ground. Silverado HD. It's a quarter of an inch. Well, I'll tell you what, guy. It looks pretty good. Looks good. Hey, let's give the Ford a try. Let's do it. OK. F-250 Super Duty. Let's see how we do. OK. Wow. That's a big difference. Yeah, it's it's moving. We come back. And we start twisting the truck the other way. Wow. Just to the naked eye, that's a big difference. I mean, I'm no engineer, but that looks like a problem. Ford Super Duty, 1.1 inch alignment change. So, Rick, why does this happen to the Ford Super Duty and not to the Silverado HD? Well, on the HD, we've gone to a high strength steel frame fully boxed, front to rear, all the way through. You know, my engineers do the calculations. They tell me that in torsional rigidity, we're more than 30 times stiffer than the Ford. So if you drove the Ford Super Duty into a big ditch. Let's put it this way. With the Chevy Silverado's independent front suspension, I'd rather take that one. Me too. And the Motor Trend Truck of the Year. <laughs> yeah, don't forget that. 